international students can work how long can they work how much money can they make can they stop school and start working okay so the next thing i'm going to talk about is accommodation as an international okay, so student now let's move to so the cost of studying this as an statement student. you will get deported i am speaking this from knowing it from seeing people get deported And welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Venice, and I'm back again with another video. Okay, so today's video is a very requested video. I, I mean, I shouldn't really be surprised, but I was surprised when I was getting emails from people asking me about the process of applying to Austria or applying to universities in Austria. One thing I'd like to say, or a disclaimer I'd like to give, is I did not apply to Austria as an international student. So every single thing you're going to be hearing from me is what I asked my other international students about. So yes, I do have international students in my class. So I did ask them how they applied, how they got through, and I also have fr other friends as well who I also ask the same questions. So that's the disclaimer I'd like to give. So this is uh, me giving you guys information from the research I did, from also going to the... Um, school secretariat to also ask questions and also ask my friends as well so you'll see me look down every once in a while because i wrote down some of the things i'll be saying so i don't like you know i don't forget and i actually tell you guys facts instead of just saying anything okay so first things first what would you need to apply to a university in austria and which universities can you apply to so first of all, um, I would like to say this because I was asked the question about it. Is Austria the same as Germany when it comes to universities? Well, in a way, yes, and in a way, no. Because in Germany, you have to do the student colleague, which is like a one-year program when you bring your, uh, your WASI results. You'd have to do a one-year program where they call it a student colleague and you'd have to do a few courses before you actually start university. So in a way, I would say Austria is similar, but they do not call it as the student colleague. They call it the International Foundations Program, and it is completely in English. So the student colleague is in German. So every single course you do is in German. So you actually have to learn German. But with the International Foundations course, every single course you do is in English, except the German course, of course, which makes sense. There are four courses which you do for the International um, Foundations Program. You do Maths, Physics, English and German. No matter what course you want to do in the university later, these are the four subjects you would have to do. It's compulsory to do every single one of them. So if you want to apply to university, the first way to go through is the International Foundations Program. So for the International Foundations Program, when you are done and you want to stay in there, there are, they offer two programs in English are surprised. They offer only two programs in English, which is um, engineering or business. So under engineering, you can do um, electrical engineering and for business, you can do global sales and marketing. Of course, this is a limited option. So when you are done with your international foundations program, you also have the chance to apply to other universities. So I'm just going to give you guys a bit of information about the international foundations program before I go ahead and tell you guys how to go through the process of applying to university after you're done with the International Foundations Program. Okay, so to make all of this short without me having to say the International Foundations Program, the full thing, I would call it what everyone else calls it, the IFP. So when I say IFP, I'm referring to the International Foundations Program. The, as I said earlier, the International Foundations Program has four subjects, Maths, Physics, English and German. And the application deadline for those who would want to apply this year is the 30th of April, 2023. So for um, international students, you have to April, but if you are someone who has like an EU passport or you have uh, an EU visa, you have to the 31st of August to apply. Of course, this is like a very big difference because it's like so many months between April and August and it's a bit different. But this is so those who, the international students who get it, get the chance to also apply for a visa and everything before they can actually like, you know, so apply for a visa before they can actually get here. So you need to get your visa before the course starts. So the course starts uh, beginning of September, somewhere in September and ends in July. So it's a one year program, I mean, it's short, but like it's a one year program which you have to do. And uh, to apply, you need to submit your high school diploma, a motivational letter. So for, for Ghana or Nigerian to submit your WASI results or WAIEC as Nigerians call it. So you need to submit that and also show that you have good English skills. 
But I think just with us submitting our WASI results or YF results, it does prove that we have good English since the courses are done in English. And then you also have to write a motivational letter. So if you submit your high school diploma and you also submit your motivational letter and they see that you have a chance of actually getting in or they, they are going to take you, they do this compulsory Skype interview. So it's compulsory for them to call you, see your face and talk to you and ask you a few questions, ask you what motivated you to apply, why are you applying, what do you want to do? So they will call you. It is a video call. That's what I want you guys to know. It is a video call. They will video call you to discuss all about this. So if you're applying, you also need to be prepared for that. And every single year, they take 25 international students. So 25. And when you do get in, you have to pay 3,888 euros. I didn't get a chance to change this into cities because I own Naira because I think this would have made a lot of sense. A second, I think I'm going to change it for you guys. Okay, so I just converted the 3,888 euros into cities and you have to pay 54,530 cities. 2015 pesos to get into the international foundations program the ifp sounds like a lot of money for just one year but the positive side is after you pay this money you don't have to pay anything else and the other universities that you can go to do not really cost much in austria so like in germany universities are free but then you do have to pay like some amount of money which is the same in austria so universities are also free but you do have to pay a certain amount of money as an international student so i'll get back to that but i want to check how much this money also cost in naira and it's one million nine hundred and forty seven thousand eight hundred and ninety five how do you guys measure that naira <laughs> naira and 79 i don't know how much you guys really say the currency in nigeria in in Nigeria but yes it's almost 2 million naira for you to get into the IFP and this um, this amount you pay does not include the accommodation does not include your travel and living costs so nothing it is just for the IFP just for the cost of the IFP itself that is just it so after you're done with the IFP you do have the chance to apply to other universities and unfortunately in Austria, there are not a lot of uh, English courses. So you either have the choice to improve your German, or you can ask to stay a few months, or you can be doing extra German courses whilst you're doing your IFP. After the IFP, and if your German level is a bit higher, of course you can apply to lots and lots of universities because most of the courses are in German. If you can speak German, then the way is open for you. But if you can't speak German, unfortunately, there are not a lot of options. Most of the options, as I said before, are mostly focused on business and engineering. But if you're someone who wants to do masters, there are so, so many courses in Austria which are in English for the masters. I think almost like more than half of them. But unfortunately, I have said unfortunately so many times that because it's really unfortunate. But if you want to do your bachelor's degree, you don't really have a lot of options in Austria. So I also had someone ask me what course I was doing and if it was in English. So no, I am doing uh, biology and biology is in German. There are rarely any science courses in Austria that are in English and I wanted to do science. So biology is in, um, is in German, same as most of the science courses. So if you want to do science, I would not really recommend Austria for you because you don't really have lots of choices when it comes to that. Okay, so now let's move to the cost of studying as an international student when you're done with the IFP and you do get into university. So for a year, it's 1,788. That is actually not a lot, which means for each semester, you're paying a bit over 800, which I think is really, really good because I did check for universities in other countries when I was trying to go to university. And most of them cost over 14,000, 15,000 euros. And pay less than 2,000 for most courses where people are charging 15, 16,000. I think that is like really, really good. But of course, that is not the amount I pay because as I said earlier, I am not an international student in Austria. So I do not have to pay that much. I think I only paid 21, 21 euros and something cents. So a bit less than 22 euros. But of course, as I keep saying, I keep giving this disclaimer. I I am speaking from the questions I ask other people and 
me researching myself i do not have that experience to give to you guys that this is what happened to me or this is what happened to my case but i am giving you guys the experience i have from my friends okay so the next thing i'm going to talk about is accommodation as an international student so i'm not gonna lie accommodation in austria is not easy to get especially in the cities where there are universities because during the application period so many other people are applying so it's a real hustle and it's very expensive depending on the city you go to study in so for example if you go to the capital in vienna your rent is very expensive you come to Strasbourg, which is a tourist city the rent is also expensive but i mean compared to i don't know i'm guessing england or something it's really cheap again but that is that's the thing in austria you can pay your rent monthly as a student you don't have to pay at once as a year like you have to do in england or in the uk so we pay monthly and your rents can range between 200 to 500 or 600 depending if you want to be in a room with another person or if you want to be in your room alone if you want a bathroom in your room or if you want to share your bathroom if you want a kitchen alone or if you want to share your kitchen alone so all these options you have also do make a difference to the price you have to pay which is why i think it's really nice for international students that you get to apply really really early because you know as i said before for the ifb you have to apply latest by april so it is the same thing for uh international students in universities as well you have to apply early so i'm guessing then you know your results early and you can apply for a room earlier so international students have a higher chance of getting a room than actual natives because they get the chance to apply early because they already know their results and yes i have also had people asking me if international students can work how long can they work how much money can they make can they stop school and start working i have answers for all of you so as an international student you're allowed to work 20 hours a week it's either you work 20 hours a week or 120 working hours so you have basically have 120 working hours you can choose to work 20 hours a week for the rest for the whole year or you can choose to work full time for a few months. So this is the option you have. So you can't say, oh, I'm going to work full time while going to school as well. That is not possible. As an international student, you have a limit to how much work you can do. So you can only do 20 hours. That is the highest you can do. Do not work more than 20 hours because that can get you kicked out of the country. I'm just letting you guys know, do not work more. And for those asking if they can quit school and instead work, you will get deported. Now, this, this statement, you will get deported. I am speaking this from knowing it, from seeing people get deported. So I hope this information I have given really helps. And if you still have more questions, of course, my email is open to you. The comment section is open to you. You can feel free to comment down below. Ask me the questions you want to ask and I'll try my best to research and answer you as much as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to click on the subscription button and like this video if you want me to keep doing more of this. Till next time, it's your girl, Venice Boache. Bye.